The appeal is adventure, and the feelings are universal. Like my stomach went to my head. It was fabulous. Ah, it was great! But while you may not think about it as you scream your way through spins, loops, and dives, every thrill in an amusement park illustrates some principle of physics. It's a life-size physics lab. When you're in an amusement park, you can actually feel the forces in action. You can be the rolling ball, the falling object, the swinging pendulum. For 10 years now, science teacher Carolyn Sumners has been demonstrating how basic laws of physics come into play at the Astro World Amusement Park. Sumners is director of physics and astronomy at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. For her, a big part of the thrill of rides like greased lightning is feeling the physical laws at work. It's centripetal force in action, and your body trying to move in a straight line pushing against the coaster as the loop pushes in on you. We must accelerate so that we can reach 60 miles an hour in order to go into the first loop. The acceleration starts. 60 miles an hour. Upside down. Right side up. And now we're going to walk around to maintain our momentum. Now we have enough gravitational potential energy. We have enough speed. Sumner's also likes to take her students on the Sky Screamer. It gives riders a few seconds of free fall and the feeling of weightlessness usually reserved for astronauts. I like to take kids and teachers in workshops on the free fall ride because it so vividly illustrates the concept of free fall, of weightlessness, of all objects falling at the same rate. A concept that's very hard to show with the little bitty distances we can drop a ball in a classroom. Sumner's dream after 10 years of amusement park physics would be to install diagrams and exhibits near the rides explaining how and why these things work. This is Jim Cameron reporting.